So what's going on here is that here, so this is giving you the correlation between total private and goods produced. And this is the, so what it's doing is sort of giving you an upper triangle, upper uh, or lower triangular matrix that displays, displays the pairwise correlation. Okay, so I can make another one of these and put in all the all those correlations. Okay, I got it. So actually, an easier way to do it. Okay. Yeah. No, I like easier. Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. Correlation, you can store the matrix, display nothing. I'm not sure where it's going to store it. Oh, I see it stored it somewhere. Name, M1. So it's storing core 1. Where is it? Correlation <laughs> That's not so good. Yeah, I was like, I thought it was going to let me put it in a worksheet, but it didn't. You can always sort of copy and paste this bad boy in somewhere. Because it. Because it's the format. Because the format's all messed up and it's hard to actually read what it is that it's telling you. Yes. Right? Yeah, I agree. So you're, so you're basically looking over and over again. You want to pair up total private to each one of these, and then you're going to go down to the next set yeah. and pair up this one to each one of those. Yeah. But I mean, you can sort of just go through here and look at them and pick out the ones that have co that have correlation, like this one, construction and private. That one's co that one has correlation, or goods producing and total manufacturing. That has a reasonable amount of positive correlation, and so forth. But you want to see how we did that. I don't care how you get it. I just want the numbers. I don't want to see output. So like, you don't necessarily care about looking at this, you just want to know the ones that have the regression values. Yeah. Do you want to know, this I want to included know. in the report, or do you just want the end result? Because I was going to staple provide, this all together. Provide this? No. Provide this?